Hi, this is Timothy. Welcome back to my NFT framework course series. Today we are trying into an important topic to be set in NFT framework core. So um if you have been uh, following along in our last session, we created the uh, DB, uh, app DB contest class where we add the two properties of the uh, type dbset. So uh, in this video, we will discuss what uh, dbset is and how it works and how you can use it to perform operation like query and inserting, updating, and deleting data in your application. So what is a uh, dbset? So a DB set is a essential class that represents an entity set in the data base, database. So this means that it's a direct link between your code and the data table. So uh, typically, uh, DB set is defined as, as a uh, properties on the DB content class. So um, so what so what makes DB set so versatile is that it is a, a genetics class. So in our example, we specific types uh, like uh, employee and manager. So to uh, put it simply, each uh, DB set operate uh, cor corresponds to an, uh, an, uh, to an uh, uh, em employee table in the database. And each uh, DB set corresponds to uh, uh, a manager's table. So uh, this base representation is something like, um, mm, you we saw how the uh, DB set uh, actually uh, work with the creator database, okay? So, um, so in our example, we define two properties in our uh, uh, app DB contents, one for employee and, and one for uh, manager. So when the uh, data database is created, it will automatically generate two tables. So employee table with uh, uh, columns like uh, employee ID, and the first name, last name, and uh, survey manager table with a uh, uh, column size, uh, manager ID, uh, first uh, name, and last name. So this is one of the great advantages of using entity uh, entity framework for the database uh, schema is uh, is uh, divide directly from the uh, classes you define this. So uh, common operation with the dataset. Uh, is something like we talk about the uh, type of uh, operation you can perform with a, a DB set. So a DB set allow you to perform a variety of uh, database operation. Uh, for example, such as uh, uh, um, query data, right? You can write uh, linked queries against DB sets. So uh, this query, uh, these linked queries are translated into a, a, a SQL queries. Uh, which allow you to fetch data from your database. So adding data with uh, the uh, add the method, you can add new record to your database. Update data, you can use the update method to modify existing records. So delete data, the uh, remove uh, delete data is mean that uh, remove the uh, uh, called remove the method allow you to uh, delete the uh, records. So and don't forget you already to call the safe trains to uh, persistent this. Uh, operation in database. So uh, I show you some example or code set example of a DB set in action here. So uh, you can see here every time when we uh, add the, the entity into the database, we have to call the say trains methods. So we use, uh, because we need to pre uh, call the save trains method to persistent this operation in the database. Okay, so also uh, let's uh, drill down into my uh, First. And, uh, you see that quick uh, example to visualize how this operates works. So um, we let me let me set. So if you remember in the last session we have created this app DB contents uh, uh, class and we add the two uh, possibilities of uh, 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 this two right. Uh, this uh, this two poss possibility. So if you ask me what is DB set, then this def uh, the definition would be a DB set is a class that represents an entity set in the database. So this is an entity, right? The, so so this is an entity. So you the concept is not domain. So you have separate your concept. Domain include domain concept is include the business logic of the entity. So entity is mean in the dot uh, net is mean that. Uh, uh, DB set a class represent an entity. 
set in the database. So uh, I hope you don't confuse about this concept, basic concept. So uh, DB set is typically defined properly of uh, uh, DB content class. If you look that this is a, a genetic class, so we uh, specify the type here. In this case, we we have specific uh, uh, employee, and in the second case, we have a specific. Uh, uh, managers in our uh, application DB contents class has two application DB contents class has two properties. So um, when we create a database, then uh, a database will be uh, have a table for uh, employee and other table for manager. So uh, employee, uh, so employee table will have uh, four columns here. So we, uh, we, we here we have four. A column, a column here for the employee ID, uh, uh, first name, last name, and the survey. So manager, uh, manager's table that show you. So uh, we we have the three columns, uh, main column, three main column here. Because this one I'm not making just for testing. Oh, uh, so we three main column: manager's ID, first ID, first name, and the last name. Very important thing is that DBSS allow you to perform variety database operation, nice query in. in Inserting, updating, deleting the uh, entity, and so on. So, um, I will quick show you. Uh, um, I will quick show you the uh, member right quest go to declaration. So, let me see. Declaration. Okay. So you will, you can find that this class has so many different methods. Like we have found a single, let me see, single row or a single that add method. We use this method to add a new record. So, uh, okay, we use this add uh, this add method to add a new record to the database. Then we have the uh, have a, a safe chain method. This is the one uh, safe chain method. Okay. Mm. Oh. Here the safe chain method. Okay, it's here. Yeah, we, we have the safe chain method, which one is the important method we have to uh have to uh if we call to this we have to use the method to we uh 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 uh, uh, to, to do the persistent in the database operation and we have so many different methods you will understand them in the detail when we actually use them while uh, execute the different uh, operation against their base so don't worry uh, mm. so don't worry for now so once more important thing is uh, 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 mm. it's over the link queue we write again the db set will be uh, translated to the uh, queries again their base in the code so example so you can see the how we can call this at at the move here so uh, so there's a little bit that uh, right here this is just a uh, simple example so every time we have to uh, create our instance of this uh, FTP contents so this example you can see how we call this uh, at remove and update right uh, Updated, removed, all right. Method to manipulate data in a coupling session. We will uh, go to manipulate data and we are going to use this method. Then you will understand them better than uh, that. For uh, today's session, you, uh, uh, mm, let me see here. So we already have an overview of the DB set in the uh, entity framework core. So as you start working with the DB set in your own project, you will begin to see how easy to make the database operation. So in our upcoming video, we will drive deeper into each operation. So stay tuned for more practical example. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next session. Thank you.